Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to backup Active Directory domain controller using a Windows Server backup feature. Active Directory is a key component of Microsoft Windows network and you really need to protect it by performing regular backups. It's really essential to have a backup of your Active Directory in case one of your domain controllers fails or any other issues prevent your users to log into their computers. Regardless of your environment and how many Active Directory domain controllers you have, you will certainly want to set up some sort of automated backup of your Active Directory. Having two or more domain controllers ensures redundancy and failover protection in case one of them fails. You can't really anticipate what can happen in the event of a natural disaster, a fire or a flood. One of the easiest way to backup Active Directory is to use the Windows Server backup feature that comes with a Windows Server. This allows you to do manual, scheduled and custom backups of your Active Directory database and environment. Keep in mind that restoring Active Directory from a backup should be your last option for recovery. For this demo, we have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com. We have two Windows Server 2022 domain controllers on our domain. This is our additional domain controller SRT22-DC02. We want to take full backup of this domain controller. To create an Active Directory backup, the Windows Server backup utility needs to be installed. In the first step, we need to install the feature. To do that, open Server Manager, click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. Click Next. Select Role Base or Feature Base Installation and click Next. Select Local Server and click Next. Click Next again. On Features page, Look at a Windows Server Backup and check it. Click Next, then click the Install button. It will start installation of Windows Server Backup feature on this local server. The feature installation will take few seconds. The installation of the feature is now complete. Click on Close. Next, open the Windows Server Backup utility. Click on Tools and select Windows Server Backup. Click on Local Backup. First, let's do a single backup. Later on, we will learn how to create an automated task or schedule the backup. Click the Backup Once link under the Action menu. As we haven't created a scheduled backup yet, the first option will not be available to us. Select Different Options and click Next. The Full Server option is selected by default and that's what we want. Different backup options are available for Windows Server such as Full Backup, System State Backup and so on. A Full Server Backup backups all the volumes on a server. This includes applications, Windows and nearly everything you need to recover this server. The Full Backup option is best to use for restoring the whole server to the same or different server. A Full Restore will allow you to easily reinstall the operating system and use the backup to recover. A system state backup includes all the necessary components to protect Active Directory and restore it. This includes the operating system files, Active Directory database, boot files, complex class registration database, DNS information, grip policy, registry and system volume including syswall. This type of backup allows for recovery when a computer fails to start due to loss of system files and registry. There is one more backup option, bare metal backup. We will cover bare metal backup in upcoming videos. In this video, we will go with the full server backup option. Make sure full server backup option is selected and then click next. Typically, you would choose the remote shared folder option to use another disk or shared folder on remote server to store the backup data. 
If you lose access to your server, you wouldn't be able to access your backup data. For the purpose of this video, we will use local drive on our server to complete the process. With local drive selected, click next. I have attached a dedicated hard drive to store the backup data. A volume with drive letter Q has been created on that hard drive. You can click on drop down menu to select the backup destination. In our case, already backup drive Q is selected as a backup destination. So from list, select volume with the drive letter Q. Click next. Once we click next, we will receive a warning message. It says that the backup destination drive is also included in the list of items to be backup. Do you want to exclude this volume from the backup items? Click yes to do so. We are at the confirmation screen. These are the items which are going to include it in full server backup. Click backup to start the full server backup on this Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We can monitor the backup jobs progress in the dialog box or in the main interface window. The backup process will take some time to complete the full server backup, which is around 14 GB in size. So I'm going to pause the video recording and once the backup job is completed, I resume the recording. Okay, as we can see, the full server backup using the Windows Server Backup feature has been completed successfully. Click on Close. Here we can see the timestamp and status of the last backup job. Under Last Backup, click on Details to view backup information. Here we can see the details about the last backup job. VSS settings, VSS copy backup and status is successful. This is the start time and end time information about this backup. It nearly took 7 minutes to complete the full server backup. We can also use WP admin command to view the backup version information and what we can restore using the backup. Right click on start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin. At PowerShell, Type command wp admin get versions and hit enter key. We can see the backup target which is fixed drive queue in our case. We can also see the items which we can recover using this backup. The version identifier information is also important while restoring the backup. In this video, we have successfully backup the active directory using full server backup option. That's all for this video on how to backup Active Directory in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.